celebrated my uh, four-year wedding anniversary this year. Yeah! And, I, and, and, and I'm just bad at breaking up. That's how that happened. It's, it was never the plan. There's a ghost in here that does not approve of that. <laughs> One of my wife's ancestors said, that shit ain't funny. Ding. <laughs> Ding, bitch. No, don't play. <laughs> Ding. No, my wife is cool. She's a person. She's got a pulse. That's a plus. Fingers, toes, all that good shit. She's all right. I mean. I don't know. You might know somebody like her. Like, you know, my wife's the type of person that uses stronger words than what's necessary for conversation. You know, like she can very simply get her point across, but she has these specific words she likes to use to fuck with me. Like right now, her favorite word is addicted. She loves telling me that I'm addicted to things. I don't like things, I don't love things, I'm fucking addicted to things. Like she comes in the house, I'm playing a game on my phone, she's like, babe, playing that game again, huh? You are addicted to that game. How the fuck am I addicted? Are you missing jewelry? What are we talking about here? <laughs> we still got TVs in the house, but I'm not sucking dudes off behind Target for extra lives on Candy Crush, all right? <laughs> I just like the game. She goes in the kitchen, looks in the freezer. <gasps> cookies and cream ice cream again. You are addicted to cookies and cream ice cream. No, I just like it, all right? I'm not freebasing it. I'm not heating it up on a spoon. <laughs> shooting it up between my toes, trying to get a sugar freeze. Just like the ice cream. Let me stay getting into it. I hate arguing with women. Sorry, ladies. I hate arguing, because it's not the same. Like when dudes argue, we come at you with logic, thought out argument, a proper debate. And then you guys do this Jedi mind trick shit. And we're like, how the fuck am I on the couch? I was winning three sentences ago. How did? <laughs> Like, we got into it recently over the trash. Over the trash. You ever done this shit? You ever had it? No? Got into it over the trash. She asked me to take the trash out. I was like, I don't feel like taking out the trash. Why don't you take out the trash? <laughs> she goes, because taking out the trash is a man's job. <laughs> Bitch, we just got out of the pandemic. You better figure this shit out, okay? I can't. I said, let me ask you a question. I said, who mopped the floors this week? She said, you did. I said, who did laundry and folded it and put it away? She said, you did. I said, who cooked dinner tonight? She goes, you did. Why? I said, last I checked, those are all woman jobs. Now get your ass up and take out the trash. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> she goes, who paid the mortgage the last six months? I said, get my goddamn shoes. Let me take this trash real quick. <laughs> How the fuck did I lose? I thought I was going to win that shit. I thought I had it in the back. It's not the same though, that's what it is. It's not the same, like we don't argue the same, right? Hey, what's your name, my man? Ian. Ian, say me and you got into it, right? We get into it, we know the steps. There's a formula when guys argue, right? We know the steps. Like if I was to say, Ian, look at you, you up here with this tight ass shirt, looking like a big ass bitch tonight. <laughs> you might say something to me like, man, fuck you, right? You know where I'm at, I know where you're at, and we both know where we're going from here. Or One or the other. <laughs> Probably both. But that's not how it works with women, right? When you argue with women, it's like fifth grade math. You got to show your work. Yeah. Oh, I'm a bitch. No, show me how I'm a bitch. No, I don't see how you got to I'm a bitch. No, this plus this don't equal bitch. Show me the bitch. <laughs> Like you're doing it right now, like <laughs> just slap the shit out of a child, like <laughs> it's not the same, man. It's not the same. Poor child, you got damn right. We got two kids. We got a uh, four-year-old and a six-year-old. They, they take turns getting knocked down the stairs. It's a. <laughs> A four-year-old and a six-year-old, and both of them are born in December. Yeah, yeah I'm fucked. Y'all don't even know. I need another goddamn stimulus. Somebody hit Biden up for me. Like it's both of them. And people ask us all the time, "Did y'all do that on purpose? Were y'all trying to have two kids in the same month?" No, no, we're not fucking psychopaths, okay? 
Nobody intentionally has two kids in the same month in the middle of the holiday season. No, no. But it's not hard to figure out how we ended up in that situation, right? It's really just basic math, right? No, hear me out, because both of my kids are full-term pregnancies. Full-term pregnancy is 40 weeks. 40 weeks is 10 months. You just do the math. Oh, y'all trying to do the math right now, see? I'll break it down for you. I'll break it down for you. My son is born Christmas Day. Son of a bitch. <laughs> now that dude is the gift that keeps on taking. He's the worst. Fuck that dude. <laughs> For life. Like, if he fell down the stairs, I wouldn't even help him out. You gotta cry that shit out, motherfucker. You ruined the best day of the year. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> December 25th. You go back 10 months, you get February 25th. That's my wife's birthday. My daughter born December 2nd. You go back 10 months, you get February 2nd. My birthday is February 5th. See, we weren't trying to have two kids in the same month. We just got drunk on our birthdays and now we're a family. That's how <laughs> that shit happened. They're a trip, man. There's a lot of things I didn't know when I became a dad. A lot of things like, you know, they ain't got, they got books, but the books aren't for the fellas, right? You got kids and shit, you know. Our answers aren't in those books because we don't even know the questions till the goddamn kid gets here. They was like, oh shit, what do we do, right? Those answers aren't there. Like one thing I didn't know when I became a dad is that women love babies. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that if I walked into a room full of women with a baby, that I would walk out with no baby. <laughs> you hear me, fellas? They'll take your fucking kid. They'll raise him in the woods. He's better with us. They'll fucking go. Let's... <laughs> I found this out the first time, first time I went to the grocery store with my son. Every aisle we walked down, every woman wanted to touch and poke and pinch my baby, and I don't like that shit. Don't touch my fucking baby. Especially white ladies. I don't like white ladies touching my baby. Now hear me out, because in my mind, you guys all think you're Sandra Bullock from the blind side. <laughs> this motherfucker don't play football. Don't touch my baby! 